Makima's reason for killing Power is actually still confusing in the Chainsaw Man series. Especially since the beginning, Makima did not give Denji an explanation for the action she had taken. Even though it has been quite a while, Makima's actions are still a hot debate among fans. One theory that explains why Makima killed Power is Makima's own plan to defeat the Chainsaw Devil. The following is a more detailed explanation of the tragic incident in the Chainsaw Man series. But before we start this video, please smash that like button. And if you haven't subscribed to this channel, please subscribe and click notification bell or you will miss future anime videos. Makima's plan from the start was to defeat the Chainsaw Devil because she herself is a control devil. Seeing how Pachida made a contract with Denji, the first step that Makima had to take was to break the contract. If you don't remember, Pachida gave his life for Denji in exchange for Denji having to live a normal life that he had wanted for a long time. Because Denji was happy when life was difficult with Pachida, Makima had to give him more happiness and live a normal life than before. For this reason, Makima gives Denji money, a job, and even delicious food for him to eat. Makima goes further by creating a family for Denji, Aki who will play the big brother, and Power whose attitude is a bit reckless will be the little sister. Aki had no trouble taking care of Denji, because Aki also had a younger brother before his brother was killed by Gun Devil. After the three of them lived in harmony in one apartment, it was not difficult for Makima to destroy the happiness and normal life that Denji had. When Denji finally asked Makima why she killed Power, Makima answered by saying that she knew Denji's secret. Makima explains that actually Denji's father did not commit suicide, but Denji killed him because Denji was afraid his father would kill him. Because he doesn't want to remember the bad incident, Denji tries to forget it. Of course, you saw several scenes showing Denji standing in front of a closed door. Every time he wanted to open the door, a voice asked Denji not to open it. Behind the door is the memory of when Denji killed his father. After knowing the trauma that Denji had, Makima used it to damage Denji's mentality by convincing him that he had killed his own family. Not only his father, she also allowed Denji to kill Aki who had turned into a fiend from Gun Devil. Especially after killing Aki, Denji feels very sorry for what he did. According to him, if he had been a little smarter, he certainly wouldn't have killed Aki and could have found another solution. Makima uses the same method to kill Power. When Denji finally chooses to be Makima's dog, Makima asks Denji to open the door, which turns out to be power behind it. Denji, who was curious about why Makima called power, didn't get an answer, because after opening the door, Makima immediately killed her. In this way, Makima indirectly convinced Denji that she also killed power. Makima finally managed to manipulate Denji by convincing him that he couldn't live a normal life, because Denji had killed his father, Aki, and even power. Because he couldn't live normally, his contract with Pachita was finally destroyed. Makima also uses it to awaken his strength and defeat the Chainsaw Devil. Makima's plan to kill Power was indeed brilliant. It's no wonder Fujimoto received praise for the work he made. The first manga from Chainsaw Man was able to present an interesting story. Hopefully the second part will be more exciting. 